Hey, what's up guys? This is Casey with Straight Six Archery in Missoula, Montana. And I'm here today to talk to you about veins, everything veins and arrow configurations and what's best for you. Now, before we dive in, I want to remind everybody, please like, comment, and subscribe to these videos. We love putting out great content for you and a lot more to come. So working down the line, this is a huge topic in both of our shops, in Missoula and Bozeman, of what vein to go with for your application, what helical, what degree of helical, three fletch, four fletch, everything. Well, that's going to come. So big news coming. We're going to have classes available on our website to learn how to do this and do it professionally with this gear. And it's one-on-one -on -one coaching from a professional at Straight Six Archery. So to get in on that and be a part of the VIP, you're going to want to go to straightsixarchery.com and subscribe to our email list. And I'll get you all the information that you need. Additionally to that, you can text me on my phone, 406 838-5568. I'd love to answer any questions that you got. So let's dive in. Let's talk about veins. First, these are the jigs that we really like at Straight Six Archery. We've got the Arizona Easy Fletch. They're just incredibly simple. They're easy to use. And most of the time, when we're fletching arrows just for maybe the shelf or a, or a quick fix in the range, we're going to go to the Easy Fletch. It does all three at the exact same time, clamps them down, throws a little bit of a helical on there. Obviously, the Mini Max is going to have much, much more helical. Like this arrow right here is going to be a mini max on hybrids, uh, two white and a purple. You can see that it's over a five degree, which is huge, which is a lot of guys like that. So if you're inside that yardage, we'll dive in more in the class on our website, but that's a great degree of helical. Bitsenberger is always gonna be a my tried and true jig because I have a right helical clamp and a left helical clamp, depending on what my setup is gonna like. Now, most of the time on factory strings like Hoyt or let's say PSE, they're going to spin left off of the string. Again, we'll dive into that, but I'm going to fletch in a left helical. Now, this is, uh, this is my arrow right here, but anyway, Bits of Burger is an awesome jig. Arizona Easy Fletch, those are probably the top two. Easy to clean, easy to use, um, and they're just trustworthy. Moving into veins and wraps and configurations, we got everything AAE. So we've got the Max Hunters, the Max Stealths, which are right here, which are gonna be our top two. Now to dive in a little bit closer, this is gonna be a Max Hunter. This is one of our team members' veins. He actually did a four fletch in Max Hunters, two pink and two white on a white wrap. It looks incredibly clean, uh, but that's gonna steer just about every broadhead on the planet. Um, this is another AAE hybrid. Quick note, the hybrid and the Max Hunter are the same profile weight and length and height. It's just a different material. With the Max Hunters, you're gonna wanna do the Max Adhesion Kit and the Max Stealths. Anything that has max on it, you're gonna need this kit. Available at straight6archery.com as well. Uh, new for this year for Straight Six Archery, we are carrying TAC veins, T-A-C. Uh, this has been a great vein. Uh, I know a lot of professionals are using this vein and it's really, really stiff. Now this is uh, one of my arrows, I believe, and Tanner's shooting the same thing. This is a driver, 2.75 in a three fletch configuration. Super solid vein. And this one we are gonna carry as well. Uh, this is going to be the matrix. This is the two inch and this is blue. This is one, another one of our team members is here at straight six is using this vein. A pretty sharp left helical. I'm assuming that was on a Bitsenberger with a left clamp. Another one of our team members arrows. You could see a hybrid on an AAE wrap with an orange knock. Looks really, really well. And then you got to stand, stay with like veins that are proven veins that come on every stock arrow. When you go to a store like ours and you get arrows off the shelf, 99% of the time they're going to come with blazers, something like this. And most of the time, if you could see this on camera, we might get a close up later, but they're going to be on a very slight offset. And most of the time they're going to be to the right. So knowing that moving forward, just know that a stock arrow is going to just do that. It's going to get you by. It's going to be stock. Now, if you want to go with something professional, like what Jake has or Daniel or Tanner or Ryan or Connor, you got to learn how to build your own arrows and you've got to learn how to do this stuff and get the tools necessary like a Bitsenberger, the Max Adhesion Kit, the veins, the wraps, and the shafts that you want to hunt with. And we'll teach you how to do this. Uh, so when should I go left wing? When should I go right wing? Should I go three fletch? Should I go four fletch? Now that's going to be up to your specific setup and your configuration and the application that you're going to be hunting or shooting target 3D with. And that's all stuff that we could talk about and I'd love to talk to you about it. So Hit us up anytime. Talk to us. We want to talk about this kind of thing. And subscribe to our email list at straight6archery.com so that you can take these classes and learn how to build these own arrows. But you can find any of these materials 
on our website or in store. So come in, talk arrows, and let's build some stuff for you so that you can ensure that you have the best season of your life. We'll see you.